I'm your reformer to watch Boxing Tribune. One of the top junior middleweights, not only in New York, but in the country, and not just uh, uh, Jewish junior middleweights, but, you know, Jewish. all over. So, I mean, we're joined today with uh, Yuri Foreman. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I am um, 26 years old. I'm coming, uh, born in Soviet Union, uh, at age 10, moved to Israel, and from Israel I came to the United States, where is the boxing and its highest, you know. So we're here, we're watching uh, Dimitri Salida tonight. He's another Jewish fighter. Um, do you feel that you guys are basically uh, the, the gatekeepers of a new crop of Jewish fighters that are going to fight? I never really thought about it, uh, that we are the gatekeepers. Uh, but maybe uh, just kind of, uh, you know, we are the nice posters out there. So the Jewish upcoming fighters can look at it and say, wow, you know, this is the Jewish fighters, you know. Um, but, you know, I never really thought about it. Is there any responsibility? or pressure on your shoulders because of that because you're one of so few I really don't feel any responsibility um, I don't feel the weight of responsibility you know I'm responsible but I don't feel the weight and uh, you know God see you know so if I'm deserve it I will win you know basically you're a very impressive junior middleweight very talented you have a, a, a plethora of skills that you that you showcase in all of your bouts um, any upcoming fight soon because I know a lot of people want to watch. Thank you very much for, um, yeah, June 9. June 9, another card of uh, Zap and Kodo. And uh, coming into these fights, you fight a lot in New York. Do you feel that you have to impress more so than uh, than just put on uh, a standard showing? Um, you know what? When I'm coming to the fight, I'm really, I really, I, I really pray for a good show and that people would like me, what what my skill are. And uh, but uh, you know, I'm just basically when the ring belt, you know, I'm just I'm just sticking with my game plan, and I don't really care what the, after people are gonna boo what. You know, I just want to be looking impressive but I still gotta they get the W you know end of the line. Well, now you're basically on the brink of a prospect into a contender now uh, are there any names that you're looking at at 154 pounds to take uh, there is names you know um, it's I really don't want to say early but too early but that June 9 is probably going to be against a good legitimate opponent you know very tough so opponent so you wanna, yeah tough oh yeah 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 all right well we're very impressed and we really want to take a look yeah. at that one because that's yeah. gonna be good Whew, I gotta get uh, some muscles, you know, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be. You feel that, you know, being on the undercard of a Miguel Cotto fight the day before Puerto Rican Day, uh, does that make things a little easier on you because the spotlight's not only on you? I. I love Puerto Rican people, you know. Me and Santana train in the same gym. We're cool, and uh, anytime Santana fought, like last two weeks ago, and uh, I was cheering for him. The, all the Puerto Ricans see that there is, you know. So I'm cool with it, you know. I'm sure they would uh, support me too, because I'm from New York and Brooklyn, you know. So. Do you think some of your uh, Jewish heritage and, and Eastern European heritage fans are going to come out to you? Yeah, God willing, my rabbi going to do some nice uh, promotion, you know. We're going to have, we're going to see some a lot of black. Hats, hopefully. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, Yuri, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. One last thing. Do you want to say anything to your fans all around the world? Yes. Um, I appreciate for all the support and uh, just enjoy and look boxing. Watch boxing on TV. Boxing needs a lot of support. Thank you.